Good Tuesday evening, everybody, from Tuttle High School. This is Kingfisher High School basketball presented by Johnsons of Kingfisher. My name is Michael Swisher, sitting alongside Dave Cameron as we're getting set to bring you a couple of heavyweight matchups between your Kingfisher Yellow Jackets and the Tuttle Tigers. First up is the girls' game and a matchup of two teams that qualified for the state tournament a year ago. Your Lady Jackets were state quarterfinalists, Tuttle. The reigning state runner-up one season after being the state champion. That's just one of the storylines tonight. Another, we've got, uh, it is the conference opener for both teams. It's both teams are in that loaded Western Conference that has put so many teams in the state tournament the last couple of seasons. If you need another storyline, the Lady Tigers now coached by Jamie Combs. You might know that last name, Jamie Combs the wife of Kingfisher boys assistant, Chris Combs. And former girls coach. Yes, former Kingfisher girls coach, Chris Combs. Now uh, the boys assistant for the second time in his career, married a couple of summers ago, or I should say springs ago to a formerly Jamie Hill. This is her first season as Tuttle's head coach. She was an assistant the last couple of years at Mustang prior to that. She was the uh, head girls coach and volleyball coach at Berry Hill. Prior to that, she coached girls basketball at Piedmont. But she is now in charge of the total program, and it is a good one. The last three years, 73 and 10. As I said last year, the state runner-up as they went 25 and 2. The year before that, they were the 4A state champs going 25 and 3. And then prior to that, 23 and 5, made the state tournament in the COVID year, didn't get to play the state tournament. Of course, these two teams have matched up during those three years, Dave. Hasn't gone so well for your Lady Jackets. Uh, it's 2019-2020, uh, 55-36 Tuttle. Two years ago, 52-27 Tuttle, and then last year, 46-22 Tuttle. So uh, you can tell by those numbers, Kingfisher has struggled to score. And you look at Tuttle's lineup, there's a pretty big reason why. And uh, she's listed at six foot three inches. That's Landry Allen, the senior post who has, uh, she's headed to OU, committed to them earlier in her junior year. Um, just a, a really talented senior post. Uh, it's a name you might recognize. She's somebody that uh, our own Allie Stevenson has gone up against uh, in the high jump. Uh, Allie, the three-time state champ in the high jump, two of those years, I believe, or one of those years, Landry was the state runner-up. Last year, Landry got third or fourth in that event. But uh, certainly a force to be reckoned with in the post for the Lady Tigers. But what they did graduate, Dave, you remember <laughs> Hadley, yeah. Hadley Perryman. Speed. Well, Hadley Perryman's playing at Tulsa. She's, you know, she was 6'1", 6'2". She's playing at Tulsa now. Maddie Serber, the yeah, speed you spoke yes. of, she could do everything. Uh, she now is in the track and field program at Oklahoma State University. And then Story Driver graduated from last year's team as well. So three starters gone, but they do have Landry Allen and then Allie Real, number 14, a junior guard, 5'9", are the two returning starters for the Lady Tigers. Uh, it is a team that's 1-0, <clears throat> played here a week ago, beat Tecumseh 55-28. That was Jamie Combs' debut for the Lady Tigers. Kingfisher comes in with a 1-0 record. You saw that game Friday night as the Lady Jackets won at Chisholm 67-16, and Dave, it was a three-point fest, 13 three-pointers. Uh, from eight different Lady Jackets. And you got to think if they can find a way to shoot the, shoot that well tonight, they've got a really good shot. Yeah, if we can have eight girls each make one, <laughs> yeah. we'll be happy. Yeah, and, and that, that part of what made Tuttle tough the last, so tough to score in the last few years is you didn't get those looks from the outside. It just with uh, well, yeah, sometimes Cerber, you didn't get the ball across to half court. No, with Cerber, <laughs> Cerber roamed around that perimeter, and then your secondary defense was uh, was Perryman, and then if somehow you got past those two, well, there was Landry Allen, who during her freshman and sophomore years had triple doubles against Kingfisher, points, rebounds, and blocks. Yep. Last year didn't get the triple double, didn't need it, uh, but it's just it's, they've been so tough to score on, and that's part of what has uh, – led to Tuttle's dominance in the 4A landscape over the last few years. We're going to take a timeout here, come back. We'll have starting lineups and more. Stay with us. You're watching Kingfisher High School Basketball presented by Johnson's at Kingfisher. 
Lots to be thankful for this year. 2022 has been good for many, including the crew here at Johnson's of Kingfisher. As we head for the holidays, take advantage of year-end savings and drive into next year in a new 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn 4x4 Crew Cab. For capability, style, safety, and security, the Ram 1500 Bighorn is the most awarded light-duty truck on the road and made to last. Let's build yours during the Big Finish sales event at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. What couldn't be better for the holidays than a new Jeep from Johnson's? In 1940s, when engineers were requested to design a light reconnaissance vehicle, little did they know the sport utility vehicle, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, would be today's standard for true driving perfection. Come test drive America's most awarded SUV, the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited, at a dealership with an award-winning service department you'll find in a place like Kingfisher. Happy holidays, Oklahoma. Johnson's of Kingfisher, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. Nearly 200 years ago, mercy began with one woman who inspired others to protect the vulnerable, comfort the sick, and deliver exceptional care wherever it was needed. This ministry still endures today with the same mission, to share God's mercy and make your life our life's work. Mercy, recognized by IBM Watson's Truven as one of the nation's top five large healthcare systems. Again. Myers Real Property offers an array of services to our great customers throughout central Oklahoma. Fill up with fuel or diesel, grab a snack and choose from our wide selection of drinks at our four convenience store locations. Jacket Express in Kingfisher, Warrior Express in Okarchi, Whippet Express in Okeen, and Tiger Stop in Tuttle. We also feature Cowboy Express Fuel in Kingfisher and Tuttle as we provide fuel handling services for farmers, oil field sites, convenience stores, and more. Don't forget about One Day Cleaners in Kingfisher where we not only offer laundry and dry cleaning for clothing and household items, but we can handle alterations needs as well. That's Myers Real Property, a proud supporter of high school athletics in your hometown. Since 1945, Kingfisher Body and Glass Shop has been operating as a family-owned and operated business that is dedicated to providing you with the highest quality service available. We have stayed true to our roots and remained right here in the same location at 504 North Main Street for over 75 years. At Kingfisher Body and Glass Shop, you can expect to interact with our friendly and knowledgeable staff. Our services include full body and framework, paintless dent repair, glass chip repairs, as well as full glass replacement. We also have a full service shop for all of your auto needs. Give Kingfisher and Body Glass a call 24-7 at 405-375-4871. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and Dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. Dennis's Express Pharmacy in Kingfisher offers fast, friendly service, including free delivery, free mail-out, free blood pressure, and much more. Come see us at 1308 South Main Street. Our convenience store hours and drive through window make it easy for you to shop for your health care needs. We're proud sponsors of all Kingfisher activities, programs, students, and staff. Dennis's Express Pharmacy says, Go Jackets! All right, welcome back. We just had the national anthem here. So we're getting ready to introduce the starting lineups for both teams. A couple of 1-0 and squads. Rankings will come out next week. Kind of really expect both of these teams, uh, regardless of what happens tonight, expect them both to be in the top eight, but we'll see. Starting lineups for Kingfisher. Let me, let me get that. Let me get that. Well, you know, if Kenny would get out of your way, you <laughs> could see it. All right, starting for the Lady Jackets, we've got a 5'9 senior, number three, Emily Myers. 5'6", uh, junior number 10, Peyton Walker. Uh, you got number 11, Addie Matthews, a 5'11", junior. Number 12, Maya Dewberry, a 5'7", five, five, senior. And uh, number 23, Reagan Snyder, a 6'1", sophomore. In that win over Chisholm, Kingfisher scored the game's first 34 points. Uh, Peyton Walker, Maya Dewberry both had big first quarters in that game for Kingfisher. Those two and Andy Matthews combined for 
Eight of Kingfisher's three-pointers. Starters for Tuttle, you got uh, number 10, Kinsley Battles. Uh, number 12, Ada Battles, Ava Battles. And number 14, Allie Real. So you got number 20, Layla Kerr. And of course, uh, as we talked about, uh, 6'3", 25, Landry Allen. So a lot of experience gone, but still some good solid experience and talent back. Now we are kind of in the corner here at Tuttle and uh, they, that one of their scoreboards isn't working tonight. Only scoreboard on one end uh, happens to be working this evening. That happens to be the end that we are on. So it is a funky angle of the scoreboard. We apologize, but uh, Tuttle's staff has been working diligently through both JV mm -hmm. games to get the, uh, the big major scoreboard working across from us. They just could not get it going. I'll remind you every once in a while to give the score. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully they can uh, see it a little bit. One of the beams has me blocked a little bit. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Business decision by Snyder. She doesn't even go up against Allen. The Lady Jackets are in a man-to-man, -man, and it will be Snyder, the sophomore, guarding Allen. Quick turnover by the Lady Tigers. Guess who had her hand right in there? Peyton Walker gets the early steal. Tuttle also playing a man. Newberry gets knocked down, gets back up. Let's see if Kingfisher runs something, trying to get Allen out of that lane. She's out on Dewberry. Dewberry drives, kicks it out. Walker with the three, short. Underneath is Myers with the rebound. Question mark we had on Friday night was how would Myers handle her first game as Matthews pulls up and her through her. Jump shot is short. It goes off for Lady Tiger. But how would Myers play in her first game back from her torn ACL? And David didn't look like she was uh, scared at all last week. And she uh, no didn't look afraid to cut or move or run. Yeah, yeah I talked to her dad, and he just said that uh, it took her a little bit to get her confidence. But once she realized, said, you know, it didn't take her long to get rolling. A scrum on the floor, and I think they're going to whistle Emily Myers for the foul, first team foul. <laughs> nice set by the Lady Tigers, but Matthew steps in, knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay on that end. Yeah, kind of a, a weird angle to get that block and not get the foul called, but yeah. it worked out. Good job on the double team there. And there's Ava Battles, the junior, knocks down the three-pointer. First points of the game for either team. 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press. By the Lady Tigers, Walker gets it across. Dribbles to that left hand, kicks it back out. Dewberry is open. That looks short. It is short. Meyer saves it in bounds, goes off. Rough Tuttle. So that's three perimeter shots for Kingfisher that have been short. Yeah. Settle down a little bit here and. See somebody uh, drive one into the lane, maybe try and get a foul, get to the free throw line, settle in a little bit on their shooting. Snyder's posting up down there, calls for the ball. Myers dribbles in, gets it to her, but it's poked away. Kerr is guarding Snyder down there. Battles in the lane. 5-0, timeout, Kingfisher will take one with him. 
531 to go first quarter. We'll be right back. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies. Anywhere, on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. All right, welcome back. Tuttle's up 5-0 here on Kingfisher. Lady Jackets called a timeout. Coach Young wanting to settle her troops a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Just maybe try and get him settled down, and that's not how you do it. Yeah. Allen was just waiting for that pass. Played safety. Picked it off, but Lady Tigers can't. Turn it into points. Snyder with the rebound gets trapped, but gets it away to Matthews. Now Kingfisher will set up. Tuttle still in that man-to-man. -man. Little one-four flat action. Nice. Yep. Hmm. Snyder can't finish. She comes up, sets the screen, rolled to, down the paint. It went a little too strong off the glass. That's the one they needed to settle them down, Dave. Yeah, that's the layup we were looking for. Wow, really trying to get it to her. Aren't you? We'll take it. Yeah, the jump ball goes to Kingfisher. Tuttle backs off of its press. Looks like Kingfisher coming out with the same set. Different play out of it. Yet another turnover. Yeah, tough pass. When they get it to Allen in the post, she goes up over Doherty. Not sure you and I can stop that, Michael. I mean, both of us. 7-0. <laughs> Numbers down here. Matthews thought about the three. Allen was right there. Then it was picked off. So the Lady Jackets still haven't calmed down. And now somebody's lost on defense. But good job by Dewberry. Steps in, draws the charge. I think that's on battles. Kinsey battles. Emily Myers checks back in. Oh, the official says no, not till I say you can. He's that guy. Tuttle back to its press. King Fisher no issues with it that time. Doherty, 17-footer off the mark. Yeah, Ali Real uses the screen. Gets the bucket, 319-9-0. Kingfisher calls it second timeout. This one's a full timeout. We'll be right back. Call Capital Roll-Off today for your next project. Our containers are great for construction, remodeling, teardowns, cleanouts, and junk removals. We drop it off, you fill it up, we haul it off. We also offer demolition services. Locally owned and operated by Corey Muggenberg, Capital Roll-Off has multiple sizes to fit your commercial or residential needs. Capital Roll-Off, call us today at 405-375-3333. Trail Creek Wellness and Kingfisher is a family medical clinic with an array of services including family medicine, bio-T hormone replacement for men and women, and our newest service, the InMode machine, which does laser hair removal and non-surgical facelift and body contouring. Come see Rachel and her staff at 1001 Hospital Circle in Kingfisher. Our office hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to 2 on Friday. Give us a call for an appointment at 405-375-7935 or visit www.trailcreekwellness.com. Well, Dave, a bit of deja vu as Kingfisher struggling to uh, 
get points against Tuttle. In fact, right now, struggling to get anything. Traveling the Lady Tigers 9-0, and Coach Young has already called two timeouts, and we've still got 3:19 to go the first quarter. Real on Walker. Dewberry drives, kicks it back out. Matthews for three. Good. There you go. First points come at the three minute mark. Nine to three, Tuttle. Guess they felt Doherty was getting a little too physical yeah. down there in the post. Allen pulls up, shoots the three, drains it. Being six foot three, athletic, and having that ability right there is one of the reasons that a number of D1 colleges wanted their services. Matthews picked up her dribble a little too soon, but still able to get rid of it. Dewberry she can't get her three to go, and I think they're going to get Doherty again. It's going to be her second foul. Snyder going to check in. Allen misses that one. Matthews grabs the rebound, hands it off to Myers. Here come the Lady Jackets. Getting the shots they want now, at least. Yep. You could hear Coach Young stomping her foot. They had a matchup with Snyder down in the post. Yeah. They didn't get it to her quick enough. She kicked it out. Walker had a good look with three. Emily Myers. Yeah, I was hoping that wasn't the case. It'll be her second. Four team fouls on King Fisher. <laughs> Andrew Allen turned around jumper. Can't can't defend that. No, I mean that's that's from 12 feet. That's stuff Dave Cameron did back no. in the uh, <clears throat> no. uh, early 90s. Uh, I <laughs> wish. <laughs> I was just trying there. Myers fires it back out. Dewberry, pump fake, drives. Good. Block. That's what you got to do. And Count the basket. one. So my. Dewberry attacks. Patty Myers. Or excuse me, Abby, Abby Myers, Myers yep. checking in. 
Dewberry can't make it a three-point play. Good job stopping the dribble. Again, that turnaround. We saw Snyder kind of look to the bench and like. It's going to do it for one. It's Tuttle 16, Kingfisher 5. We'll be right back. Bank First is deeply rooted in more than 50 communities statewide. Towns bound together tightly by loyalty. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Life can hit hard, but great coverage keeps you on the winning team. Let the experts at Stevenson Insurance Center guide you through the personalized process of finding the right coverage for you, your family, or your business. Personal, commercial, or health, we can service all your insurance needs. Don't blow your coverage. Come see us at 2302 Frontage Road in Kingfisher. All of us at Stevenson Insurance Center say, Go Jackets! The Shed Grill. All right, we're back. Auto leads Kingfisher 16 to 5 after a quarter. Lady Jackets called two timeouts in those first eight minutes, really in the first five minutes. Yeah, played a lot. I mean, you know, got some decent open looks the last four minutes and a half. Just couldn't get any to go and you know, did some better things. So we'll see how it goes here. Well, Landry Allen starts out on the bench for Tuttle as Coach Combs is going to try to give her a little extra breather here. Kingfisher now in a 1 2 2, it looks like. Maybe she'll forget about her. Well, you can hope. Here comes Snyder. She gets the rebound, brings it all the way down, hands it off to Doherty. Kingfisher will now reset. Well, they got the matchup of Snyder down low. Turnaround jumper. She can't get it to go off the glass. She's missed a couple of those. Making a good, strong move. Boy, that's a big pick she's having to work yeah. through up there on top. It's twice now. Layla Kerr set that one. Allen set one earlier. You got to hope her teammates are telling her about it because she's she's run into them pretty yeah, hard a couple times. It doesn't appear that they are. <laughs> well, she hasn't forgot about Landry Allen. She's set to check back <laughs> in. by Caden Doherty. KJ draws the foul. Samantha Teague whistled for that one. You know, it's a different, somewhat of a different cast of characters running a little bit different defenses, but still Tuttle just getting in those passing lanes, making it every single pass tough, pushing your offense out just a little bit further than you want it, makes you rush your shots just a little bit. Doherty did get a good look there. He's Allen eventually there. secures Oof. it. You don't uh, pull the hands out of. Uh... Myers with the steal. Poke that away. Goes up for the layup. She's too strong off the glass. Walker hustles down and grabs it. So Kingfish still has the possession. Over to Myers. Snyder goes for three. Uh, 
I was going to say, you don't just pull the ball out of Elmy Meyer's hands. No. <laughs> um, that does not happen very often. Allen misses that one. We're going to have a full timeout call. This one by Tuttle. 5.05 to go second quarter. 16.05 will be right back. The Shed Grill and Bar in Kingfisher, owned by locals Brent and Steph Snyder, offers everything from burgers to a variety of salads and specialties such as chicken fried steak, pulled pork baked potatoes, and catfish. We also offer sandwiches, wraps, a variety of tacos, and popular appetizers. Gluten-free and light options are also available, as is a full bar with six different draft beers on tap and a variety of Shed signature cocktails. Located at 1505 South Main Street, the Shed is open seven days a week. That's the Shed Grill and Bar. Good food, good friends, good times. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come find out what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Just got a uh, text from one Chris Combs. He just said pretty agonizing. So what does the guy do? <laughs> the guy bleeds Kingfisher yes. blue and gold. He's standing, and, he's standing in a corner somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and his wife is coaching the rival team. I can't imagine it's easy for him to watch. He probably has to sit on his hands just so nobody even misconstrues one of his mo movements on either side of the gym. That'll switch to a little zone action here. Two, three look. Kingfisher changes its offense. Short corner, Doherty. That's one there maybe you see her bring up the other just, side. Yeah. Use that rim as a protector. Makes it a little tougher for Allen to get her hand on it. Oh, she did a good job there. She pushed Allen away. We're going to call jump ball. Yeah, if they're going to let that right there happen, it's going to be a long night because that was all wrist and then it went to ball. <laughs> <laughs> Layla Kerr comes in and tries to muscle it away. So it's Matthews, Emily Myers, Peyton Walker, Maya Dewberry, Reagan Snyder, the five starters on the floor for Kingfisher. Back to the man. Fisher resets again. Tuttles is making nothing easy. No, very athletic, very quick. There's a three, Peyton Walker. Makes it an eight point game, 3.05 to go in the second quarter. I saw something I didn't like, called a moving screen or something off the ball there on Kerr. Well, you can't make that pass with no arms for days. Yes. Yeah. 
And she's just sitting back there waiting on it, anticipating it. Probably make it against Chisholm. You're not going to make it against Tuttle. And that's twice that Allen's picked that off. Three in and out by Battles. Gets a rebound somehow. Pulls up, misses. Peyton Walker comes out of there with it. 2.22 to go second quarter. That's Myers what I drives. want to see out of Myers. I don't care. Just keep doing that. No doubt about that one. Snyder got her money's worth. Kinsley battles at the line. It's Tuttle's uh, first points of the second quarter, Michael. And Kingfisher held him scoreless for over six minutes. Yeah. The good news, bad news is the Lady Jackets haven't been able to close the gap very much. Yeah, I got a, got a foul there. Allie Real right below us. Two on her. Five team fouls. Goes Myers again, left yep. hand, gets it. Yep, that's, that's, what, that's what she can do right there. 17 10, 120 to go. First half. And then there's that. <laughs> it's, it's a bit unfair. It's a good looking shot, too. It's like, yeah, it's high not, release. Not clunky. Fluid. We got to get that uh, lob off of our passes. We got to crisp passes. They just move too fast, like that. Mm. Matthews, right place, right time. Gets the follow up. Nineteen twelve. And good defense and by Doherty. And that's the shot you want to see him take. That's a tough shot. I'm, I'm going I'm to wait and shoot one here, Michael. Down to 17 seconds. Nice. Oh. Walker in amongst Same. the trees. Still plenty of time. Free ball. Addie Matthews. What a finish by Kingfisher to end the half. I scored them 10 3 that quarter. 19 to 15 is your halftime score. We're going to take a timeout and be back with some halftime stats after this. Friday Night Lights is one of the best ways to spend your time in the state of Oklahoma. Kingfisher may be a small town, but we win big. Here at Jackson's at Kingfisher, your locally family owned and operated Chevy Buick and GMC dealership, we share in that small town pride. Whether you come by a new or pre-owned vehicle from our amazing sales team or experience our great customer care from our service and parts department, every step of the way, we will treat you like family. You can learn a lot from the people who power America 
All you need to do is listen. So I came to Oklahoma to see where the energy I need, the energy we all need, comes from. I met with the folks who produce it every day. Frankly, they help me rethink a few things. I like them. I bet you will too. If you want to learn more about how oil and natural gas makes modern life go, meet me over at oerb.com slash micro. A couple of programming notes before we kick it to Dave for some halftime stats. This will be our only broadcast this week. Kingfisher will be at home for its home opener next Tuesday against Newcastle. We'll bring you that game live from the APB. The Kingfisher girls play this weekend in the Cleveland Invitational. The boys are not playing in it. They are in the Tournament of Champions uh, later this month. So it's just the girls defending their crown at the Cleveland Invitational. That is going to be broadcast on uh, the, the same as last year. Cleveland will be broadcasting those games. We'll get to that link. But if, if for some reason you can't find it, it is on the Cleveland Public Schools uh, YouTube channel. So they will broadcast all of those games live this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Kingfisher opens the tournament 4 o'clock Thursday against Moore JV. Provided the Lady Jackets win that, Kingfisher is the number one seed. They'll play the winner of Metro Christian in Cleveland at 7 p.m. Friday. Again, that's at the Cleveland Invitational. And Dave, that was a good, uh, really a good, especially the last couple of minutes there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you hold a you hold a, a total team that you gave 16 to up in the first quarter uh, to three, uh, just one field goal in that second quarter. So, you know, outscore them 10 to three. If you can do that a couple more times. Hey, the math says. Yeah. You're simple, gonna, simple you're, math. You're going to be on the top end. Who gets right. some scoring for yeah, us? Yeah, just, just run down the scoring here. Emily Myers, she's got uh, two on that layup she had there. And uh, Peyton Walker has the lone three-pointer, uh, at, or excuse me, her lone three, three points. Addie Matthews has eight, and uh, Maya Dewberry has two. And then, um, in, just in case you wonder, Landry Allen has 11 of the 19 uh, for Tuttle. But again, Kingfisher. We trailed, what, was it 16-5 to five after a quarter, but then yeah. held Tuttle scoreless for just over six minutes to start the uh, second quarter. Unfortunately, Kingfisher wasn't making a big dent in its deficit, but there in that last couple of minutes, after Tuttle did get those first uh, points of the second quarter, Kingfisher found it, hit a couple of threes. and Yeah, and now we do have, now Emily Myers does have the two fouls as well as uh, Caden Doherty, so they're going to have to be a little bit careful, yeah. you know, working through that third period with those two fouls, but... Other than that, no foul trouble. And just so everybody knows, uh, we do have the Medic Pharmacy, Pharmacy and Gifts Kingfisher player of the game. At the conclusion of this game, Dave and I will announce that winner. will receive a free large orange aid from Medic Pharmacy and Gifts of Kingfisher. Uh, and again, we'll, uh, this will be our last broadcast this week, other than the boys game tonight, obviously, but we'll be back next Tuesday against Newcastle. We've got about six and a half minutes to go before the start of the second half. We're going to let you hear from some of our great sponsors, so please stay with us. My favorite Christmas song is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Take me home for Christmas. Favorite Christmas tradition is just gathering around and opening stockings with all the little kids around the Christmas tree. My favorite Christmas movie is National Lampoon's Vacation. Favorite Christmas movie would probably be uh, Home Alone. My favorite Christmas song is Winter Wonderland because it's been covered by a lot of artists. One of my favorite artists, Striper, did it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Take me home for Christmas. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. From all of us at Johnson's of Kingfisher, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. 
Interbank and Kingfisher serves the needs and caters to the economic strengths of the communities we serve with 15 statewide interbank locations. Through our associates at each location, we strive to provide a high level of personal and professional customer service in a community bank setting while maintaining our commitment to personal integrity, customer service, and community involvement. We're ready to help with all your banking needs. Interbank and Kingfisher, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Medic Pharmacy and Gifts in Kingfisher is unique in that it offers all the amenities of a modern pharmacy but also takes you back in time. Trevor Wilson provides you top-of-the-line experience in the full-service pharmacy as Medic also offers a hearing aid center, free delivery, and a convenient drive through We offer a wide range of cards and gifts as well as a full line of Traeger Grill products. Hungry or looking for a refreshing treat? Stop by our snack shack and have our famous orange aid at our old-fashioned soda fountain. That's Medic Pharmacy and Gifts in Kingfisher, 405-375-3202, or come by at 119 West Admire. As one of North America's largest producers of oil and natural gas products, Oventiv believes safe, reliable, and affordable energy is fundamental to making modern life possible. We also believe in building strong relationships in the communities we operate. Locally, Oventiv is proud to employ 100 Oklahomans and support our schools through scholarships, sports funding, and FFA sponsorships, preparing the next generation for success. Visit oventive.com slash community to learn more. Your health is our health. If you are in pain, are recovering from surgery, or have had to postpone a surgery, Physical Therapy Central is open. We take the health and safety of our patients, employees, and the community seriously. Our clinic is clean and safe so you can get the health care you need. Get back to work, back to play, and back to life faster with Physical Therapy Central. Schedule an appointment today at ptcentral.org or call 405-375-5654. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit gopioneer.com for more information. Born and raised in Kingfisher, Dr. Drew Hendricks returned to his hometown to take over the Kingfisher Family Dental and Implant Clinic. Dr. Hendricks has taken the practice to new heights with his state-of-the-art facility, now open at 2700 South Frontage Road. He and his upbeat, fun, and caring staff offer cleanings of all sorts, implants, crowns, bridges, dentures, filling procedures, root canals, and much more. We love to see patients of all ages. That's the Kingfisher Family Dental and Implant Clinic. Call 405-375-4949 for an appointment. And be sure to visit our office at 2700 South Frontage Road. As a local, member-owned electric cooperative, Cimarron Electric is committed to providing the highest quality of service at a reasonable price. We're dedicated to serving our member owners with integrity, accountability, innovation, and a commitment to community. For more information, call or visit our website. Cimarron Electric Cooperative, serving Northwest Oklahoma since 1936 and powering the needs of a new generation. In business for 30 years, Cheap Brothers Insurance has more than 150 years of combined experience ready to serve you. We are an independent agency that represents all major companies, which allows us to tailor to your specific insurance needs. No account is too big or too small as we offer home and auto coverage, but also specialize in commercial accounts. For that local service you deserve, stop by Cheap Brothers Insurance today at 219 North Main in Kingfisher. Call them at 405-375-4144 or visit CheapBrothers.com. The city of Kingfisher continues to grow. New housing additions, new retail businesses, airport expansion, new restaurants are all a small part of what's taking place here. Kingfisher Electric proudly powers that growth as well as your home, your business, and the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. That's Kingfisher Electric, your local municipal public power service provider, keeping Kingfisher and the Yellow Jackets charged for our future. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come find out what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender.
Bank First is deeply rooted in more than 50 communities statewide. Towns bound together tightly by loyalty. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. And welcome back. It's 19-15, start second half. Dave, you got a... Well, we just, we just need to withstand about a three-minute storm right here okay. that's uh, fixing to happen, yep. you know, and not, you know, hang with them here for a minute and let them, you know, get through uh, Coach Combs' locker room screaming about that second quarter. Well, they went high-low right there. And oh. Couldn't convert. Well, that's oh, us. Boy. Yeah. I wasn't sure that ball touched the line, but the official disagrees. It'll be Kingfisher's ball, but Tuttle didn't even come out to warm up. They came out just as the one-minute buzzer was going off. Lady Tigers pressing. There's those passes you're talking about, Dave. You're wanting a little more zip on those. Yeah, I mean, you know, they move pretty quick. Turnover by Kingfisher. Oh, that's in the back. There you go. Is that going to be on Kerr? Yeah. Her second. and roll. Again, just nothing easy for the Kingfisher offense, having to earn every drop they get. Dewberry drives go. in. There you go. Create the contact. Well, the announcer said one thing. The clock said another. But they announced Kerr, but they put Kinsley Battle's number up there. That's what, what we're going with. That's her first. Dewberry also made her first. This is the second. Quick turnaround, quick shot. However, Kinsley Battles gets the offensive board. Tuttle will get another crack at it. That one goes. Yeah, it doesn't even have to square up. 21-16, two minutes gone in the second quarter. There you go, get that look. Oh my goodness, that's not fair. There oh, yeah. the three, Abby Matthews. Her third three, Michael. Two point ball game. Can't finish underneath. So the Lady Jackets could tie or take the lead. Trailed nine to nothing. Deficit hit double digits in the first quarter. Stayed that way much of the second. There you go. Maddie Matthews drives. She draws the foul. She's going to go to the line with a chance to tie this ball game. 4.52 to go in the third quarter. Oh, 
We're going to have a timeout. I think it's a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. Nearly 200 years ago, mercy began with one woman who inspired others to protect the vulnerable, comfort the sick, and deliver exceptional care wherever it was needed. This ministry still endures today with the same mission, to share God's mercy and make your life our life's work. Mercy, recognized by IBM Watson's Truven as one of the nation's top five large healthcare systems. Again. Back to school. Now your worries about the kids going over on their data plans are back. Mom and dad, this is for you. Right now, make the switch to Pioneer's unlimited data plans. Don't let data overages and high cell phone bills be something you stress about this school year. We have a plan for everyone. Let Pioneer handle your worries by stopping at a local office today to learn how you can save. Visit GoPioneer.com for details. Some restrictions may apply. Well, Dave, you said at the start of the third quarter that Kingfisher needed to withstand those first three minutes that Tuttle was going to come out of them. Well, here we are just uh, 3.08 into it, and the Lady Jackets have a chance to tie the game with Addie Matthews stepping to the foul line. Her team down two. Yeah, and Tuttle's done. Tuttle's helped us out with the three missed layups, but, you know, we have, uh, we have got those rebounds, which is not easy to do against them. She makes the first. And the second. We are tied up. 4.52 to go, third quarter. Battle short. Dewberry, strong rebound. Not giving up those second chance opportunities. Matthews. Tax out to Dewberry. She drives, steps through, can't quite get it to go. She does draw the foul. She'll shoot two. First shot is up, off to the right. Yeah, we can get Maya making some free throws here. She's just one for four at the line. So maybe if I talk about it, she'll get rolling here. Second one does go. Kingfisher leads it, 22-21. Making it tough on Allen down low. Yeah, she doesn't like it either. No. Hey, that's great defense by Peyton Walker. Got her hands on the ball as Allie Real was trying to go up with it. I almost thought he might call it off her leg, too. Yeah. I was half expecting a jump ball there. Set a screen to Real. She shoots the jumper. Yeah, She's fouled. It. Reagan <laughs> picks up her second. Just want to see her go straight up there. She's has that tendency to hack at the ball, yeah. trying to get that block. She'll cause a lot more. Now stay vertical. Havoc, as you say, staying vertical, getting taller. Real ties the game with the first free throw. Makes them both. Tuttle reclaims the lead. Snyder drives. She gets tripped up. Oh, wow. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be off Kingfisher. Sometimes they say the ball doesn't lie, and that might be <laughs> might have been the uh, case there. 
you're expecting a whistle a lot sooner there? Well, I, I, I see Coach Combs kind of asking about that. He said that he, in his opinion, she was juggling the ball as she went down. Has she missed? Yeah, Once or twice, yeah, but, she has, but not very often. Again, you see, you see why a lot of major D1 programs want her services. Who is going to get them? She puts the Lady Tigers up by three. Just under three to go third quarter. Now you see that there. Maybe take advantage of that. Yeah, uh, a little back, back to Yeah, one. see if they can't take advantage of them being overly aggressive. Fake that pass, send them to the back door. And there it was. Different girl, though. Matthews with the left hand, too strong. Again, Landry didn't have to jump there. Just her presence did enough to yeah, uh, yep. affect that shot as Matthews as probably could have gone straight up, but she went up with her left hand and couldn't finish. Kind of gets in your head there. Allen again, turnaround, 27-22. Kingfisher was up 22-21 briefly, six straight by the Lady Tigers. And they're going to get Maya Dewberry. <laughs> Teague drew that foul. Yeah, I wasn't watching. I was being uh, Emily Myers. Emily Myers was in a pretty good battle right up front uh, as she was trying to get free, and I'm thinking – if that whistle hadn't blown, there was fixing to be a whistle up top, and, uh, you know, Emily's defender was kind of holding her. It's been a physical ball game. He drains a three. 9-0 run by Tuttle after trailing 22-21. Relay Tigers are now up eight. Now you can see where if you're not strong with the ball, you know, that right there, that was, was Peyton being strong with the ball, or that would have been going the other way. Instead, it's an alley reel foul, her third of the game. She's probably going to sit at least the rest of this quarter, if not a little bit of the fourth. There's, there's the presence of Landry Allen as, as Walker turns down that three because she remembers what happened. We see Caden Doherty come into the ball game. Did he give Snyder a breather? I think that's the first uh, substitution of the second half, I believe. I think you're right. Minute to go in the third. Five seconds. Matthews, left hand, goes in. Tough shot. Dewberry saves it in, but right to Landry Allen. Tuttle's got the ball. 14 seconds to go in the third. Eight-point lead. Teague misses. 
Rebound Skaggs taken away by Myers. Two seconds, one second. No clock on that end. Makes it tough. Do we have a foul call? We do. Sweet. I couldn't hear a whistle, but I saw the arm in the air. Who will take it, Michael? Samantha Teague gets her third foul. So Myers will shoot two. That ends a 9-0 run. Myers makes one of two. It's a 30-23 ball game. We're going to take a timeout and be right back. Lots to be thankful for this year. 2022 has been good for many, including the crew here at Johnson's of Kingfisher. As we head for the holidays, take advantage of year-end savings and drive into next year in a new 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn 4x4 Crew Cab. For capability, style, safety, and security, the Ram 1500 Bighorn is the most awarded light-duty truck on the road and made to last. Let's build yours during the Big Finish sales event at johnsonsofkingfisher.com. What couldn't be better for the holidays than a new Jeep from Johnson's? In 1940s, when engineers were requested to design a light reconnaissance vehicle, little did they know the sport utility vehicle, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, would be today's standard for true driving perfection. Come test drive America's most awarded SUV, the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. At a dealership with an award-winning service department, you'll find in a place like Kingfisher. Happy holidays, Oklahoma. Johnson's of Kingfisher, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. Same name, same family since 1927. All right, we're back. Kingfisher briefly took the lead there. In the third quarter, 22-21, Tuttle reeled off nine in a row before. Um, well, it wasn't the first three minutes we need to be worried about. Apparently, it was the, uh, the next three. The next three, yeah. Dave uh, getting a workout in here in between quarters, hence the, the grunting. <laughs> Just get my lift in, guys. 30-23 ball game as we enter the fourth. Pick and roll. Landry Allen misses. <laughs> Myers goes up high for that one. Good rebound by the senior. like a bit of a zone look here from the Lady Tigers. They've mixed it up. High post to Matthews, out to Walker. It's a very active zone. Kingfisher can't quite move the ball fast enough to get the free look. Matthews drives back out to Myers. Just nothing open. Fisher's used up a minute on this possession. Matthews in and out. Myers comes away with yet another rebound. I think that's going to say off Snyder. No, it's off Tuttle. Snyder did the I didn't touch it. Made me feel like she touched it, but apparently not. Still Kingfisher ball, more than two minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Seven point contest.
Dewberry off to the side. Rebound Allen. Whistles either way there. Here comes Peyton Walker up ahead. Dewberry's going to try it again. Pump fake, drives, dishes. Snyder, she'll try the three. A bit long. I think this is just one point since about midway through the third quarter. Allen is fouled by Myers. She'll shoot two, 424 to go in the quarter, the fourth quarter. Drains the first, Doherty in for Snyder. Myers has three fouls. Makes them both. Still that zone for Tuttle. Chris, we just can't get anything to That's look tough. at. It's tough. We'll keep it. We'll keep it here. 3:51 to go. Yeah, when you don't have anybody split in there in the high post, and <clears throat> you're getting in the short corner, nobody slides down. You know the defense, you know, doesn't have to react as much when you've got all your players out around the perimeter. Which, I mean, hey, if I was out there, I'd be standing on the perimeter too if Landry Allen was on the inside. Um, just, and they're so quick, it's just, they really close the gap on you in a hurry. Yeah, even Kingfisher's got pretty decent ball movement. You try to catch that zone defense, rotating a bit, but Tuttle seems to be right there. Right in their face as soon as they catch it. So Coach Young calls a timeout. Now she had to call uh, two timeouts within the before the before five minutes were gone in the game. This is the first time she's called a timeout since the first quarter. So she's got two left. See what the uh, Lady Jackets can come up with here out of the timeout. I almost wondered if Tuttle wouldn't change their defense up, but this has been working so well. Do it until Kingfisher proves they can crack it. Yeah, you know, they got two, two people inside now, at least to draw some attention. Allen gets that block on Doherty. Doherty kind of got herself up underneath. Tough angle to shoot the ball. Again, just one point in a, about a quarter's worth of time for Kingfisher. And just one field goal this half. Myers tries to throw it across the lane, a turnover for the Lady Jackets. Yeah, right idea. Just Doherty was going the other direction, not coming towards the ball. Fish are going to trap. 30 second timeout called. Let's take this timeout with them. 2.43 to go. 
Tigers up nine. Dennis's Express Pharmacy in Kingfisher offers fast, friendly service, including free delivery, free mail out, free blood pressure, and much more. Come see us at 1308 South Main Street. Our convenient store hours and drive through window make it easy for you to shop for your health care needs. We're proud sponsors of all Kingfisher activities, programs, students, and staff. Dennis's Express Pharmacy says, Go Jackets! We're back. Kingfisher High School Basketball presented by Johnson's of Kingfisher. And you get a look at or maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. Kingfisher student section with our Oventive baseline can. Got Kenny Lunsford running that. Walker hasn't slowed down any. No. Well, listen, if you're going to play them, you better be physical. Yeah. She has, uh, other than timeouts and quarter breaks and halftime, she hasn't caught a breather, but she is. Just her first foul. Getting after Real. Real's trying to post her up. Good job by Doherty with the help defense. I think uh, Walker was going to steal that one, even if Doherty wasn't there. Stepped into there it. There it is. Three-pointer. Maya Dewberry. Coach Young says, get that press going. We got a six point game here, two minutes to go. Wow. Thank you for that. Dewberry on the ball, reached in for it. Dunk it. <laughs> Threw it too high there even for Landry Allen. That ball, they're going to say, goes off of Maya Dewberry. Kingfisher fans wanting to know why there was no whistle for a foul. The official says no contact. Minute 23 left. Tuttle will have the ball on this end. Somebody lost Landry Allen, bumps it off the glass. Yeah, that's 21 now. Matthews for three, that's short. Rebound, Peyton Walker again. She has not run out of any energy. Dewberry, long. Allen rebound, now 46 to play. Lady Jack's going to have to foul. Only four team foul, so. Tuttle can play keep away. They're going to have to. <laughs> now they have the 30 seconds. I think we're going to have a timeout called. 30 second timeout. Let's keep it right here. Good look at the Kingfisher bench there. 34 26. Davis, uh, total team scored 16, I believe, in that first quarter. Yeah. Since then, only 18 points. So the Kingfisher defense has done its job. And really, if it wasn't for a six foot three uh, yeah. Division I standout, yeah. then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 21 of yeah. their 34 points. And she's, you know, you go back and watch this replay if you haven't been watching the whole game, especially that first half. She's catching shots and turn around, hitting turnaround jumpers from 12 feet, 15 yeah. feet. Yeah, she's not on the block. Yeah. She's extended. And it's, uh, you know, like one time Reagan Sire looks over the bench and says, like, what, what can I do? Reagan was on her. Again, Kingfisher, just four team fouls.
Tuttles is going to be able to play this one out. And seven seconds. Dewberry got her hand on it. T gets it. Emily Myers called for that foul, but just five team fouls. Two tenths of a second left. This ball game is over. Your final score is Tuttle 34, Kingfisher 26. We're going to take a quick timeout. Dave, do you have some totals ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, go ahead and read through those, if you will, for us. Okay, leading the way tonight, uh, Addie Matthews has 13, uh, Maya Dewberry 7, Peyton Walker 3, and Emily Myers 3, and that totals your uh, 26. And then you said again, 21 points for... Yeah, 21 what? points uh, for Landry Allen. 21 yeah. of their 34 points. Just a tremendous performance by Landry Allen to the OU signee. But again, I think, you know, Kingfisher came to Tuttle. State champion, state runner-up. The team that's going to be ranked, highly ranked. Played them within eight on their home floor. Had the lead. Had the lead in the third quarter. So, Lady Jackets showed a little something tonight. But still... Uh, a lot to work on. We're going to say our medic pharmacy and gifts player of the game, Addie Matthews, led the team with 13 points. So congratulations to Addie. She's going to get a good free large orange courtesy of medic pharmacy and gifts. King Fisher. 11 minutes to go before the start of the boys game. We've got to shut down for about five minutes. So we'll come back. We'll uh, shut down for here. I think what about five minutes. I think Russell says. So when we come back, we'll have about six minutes to go before the tip-off of the boys' game. This has been Kingfisher High School Basketball presented by Johnson's of Kingfisher.